chasing you away from my Good morning, happy people. Hope your day's going awesome. Hope it's going wonderful. Life is good here. Life is very good here. And a uh, big thank you to all those that were concerned or uh, were just nervous about Garrett. He is feeling much better. It was just a little scratch. We just couldn't quite tell because there was just so much blood, but I think your head kind of bleeds quite a bit. Garrett is fine, so thank you very much. It's little boys, right? That's just what they do. Lots of stuff going on today, but kind of the main focus, I think, is I might go buy a truck, depending on how it looks. So the one we showed you on the previous vlog or two vlogs ago, uh, that black one, the kids really liked it. It was great. It looked great on the outside. I felt the price was a little high. They wanted $22,000 for it. It's a 2009 with 94,000 miles. But, you know, I don't know if where you are is this way, but here in Alaska, if you have your, your Hondas, your Toyotas, like Ford F-150s or your vehicles or Subarus, they tend to go higher than book value. So I wasn't too concerned. It left me some negotiation room, but uh, I always bring my stuff over to Alaska Chevron. And Alaska Chevron on is where you want to go on mini street talk to Lance see if he can hook you up uh, he'll be honest I'll bring one to him today because of the black one that I brought to him he said nope nope you're not allowed to buy this <laughs> okay okay cool so that's one thing I feel I'm not very good at is I'm not a good mechanic I think I've changed an alternator once it's like the most I've ever done when it comes to vehicles so I'm completely blind to bring stuff to him so yeah, that particular vehicle, he says, was at least $3,000 worth of damage. He might even have to pull the engine out because something about an exhaust manifold uh, was broken. Anyway, I didn't, didn't quite understand all of it without really getting into it. I had sort of a picture, but that's a no-go, he says, because it's just too much of a risk. He literally might have to pull the engine out to, to fix it. So I said, okay, I'm good. I'm not emotionally attached to these things. It's just a truck. So we found one, uh, the kids and I, and my wife, we went and see if we could fit in it. We found an extended cab. It's not the quad cab, but it's extended cab because I can't find a long bed with the quad cab. I found a long bed with an extended cab, but not with the quad cab. It's a lot more hard to come by, I guess. So I think I got a clean one. It's less money. They want $17,000. I might have some negotiation room there. I'm not sure. It has 88,000 miles, extended cab. The kids actually fit in it. But before I get too wrapped up here, at least I know it'll... It'll work at least as a baseline here. I can go, uh, I'm gonna go pick that car up and they said I could go bring it over to Alaska Chevron so they can do a little uh, little test on it and make sure it wasn't like the last one. So that's what's gonna happen right now. I'll bring you guys with me. Curious to see too if you guys have any tips or things on picking out a vehicle or advice. But if this is all looking good and I get an okay from Alaska Chevron, I will probably pull the trigger and buy it today. I have so many other things to worry about. I just don't want to, I just need to have a vehicle and just kind of be done with it. But I, I do need to slow down enough to make sure that I'm not going to have a lemon and have to spend, you know, five or $10,000 to fix it. So let's go do that. And again, hope you guys are doing awesome. Hope you guys are doing great. Okay, let's go look at a truck. Good morning. There you go. Okay. Just sign it out on that podium. What do you think? It'd be about an hour, hour and a half or so? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I gave him a heads up, so okay. probably it shouldn't take them too long, I imagine. So. Okay. Cool. Thanks so talk much. To you a bit. Yep. Appreciate it. All right, here it is. 2013, 88,000 miles. The back seat here is just big enough to be able to fit the kids. I mean, it's not the, the um, whatever, the crew cab, it's the extended cab, but uh, it's a lot less money, I think more value than the other one. But let's go bring this to Lance at Alaska Chevron, see if it's good to go, because I just, I don't have a clue. It looks clean though, it looks pretty clean.
are you thinking? But I was able to get the kids back here, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So, and they actually kind of fit. If I could, the problem is, Lance, is I want to find one with a six and a half foot bed, and I can't find one in the four door. Very easy. Oh, these are aftermarket? Yep. That's a, that's a cool thing. Fancy. Let's go ahead and start it up. I want to hear this exhaust. Okay. Studs. Huh? Those exhaust studs go great and they start leaking. The last one was leaking. Oh, okay. They were, they were broken off in the cylinder head. And tip, it's really hard to get to drill in there. You know, remove it and then get a drill. Okay. Uh, and if you can, you got to literally lift the entire engine out. So that was the last issue is, yep. Yep. is that. Does this one look okay or no? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more people coming here at the new shop. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I like fresh fluid though, man. You gotta stay on top of this engine oil on these, otherwise these cam phasers start knocking around. On this type of vehicle, what is typically what you see that, uh, that would go out, I guess? Uh, on this one here would be the what's called integrated wheel ends for the four-wheel drive. Okay. Uh, you'll hear ratcheting. In two, so when you're in two-wheel drive, you'll start to hear like ratcheting around corners because it's like trying to partially engage uh -huh. and the hubs go bad. So okay. that's one common thing. The other common thing would be the pressure line for the power steering. So those are all fairly lower cost items though, right? Yeah, they're not too bad. What's they're not, the, they're what, not deal breakers. Cause is, there, is there a big cost item that we'd be concerned about with this type of a vehicle? The cam phasers we talked about. On the front of the engine, you know, when you get like degraded oil in there, it, the phasers can knock around back and forth and make a sound. Like a tick? Startup. Yep. Almost like a knock, actually. Oh, okay. But it's, uh, you know, that's just kind of a, they, they've gotten better over the years. At least this is a little newer uh -huh. from when they first started doing it. They've come a long way. So that's why you're saying it's super important to put Change fresh oil. fluids yeah. in this type of rig. Yes. Well, I guess all of them, right? But yeah, all of them. This normal. is a little more critical than, than others. What a blessing. The water has receded tremendously, as you saw kind of in the last vlog, and it's even gone down even further. But I will show you a couple pictures that a subscriber sent to us. It's here local. They went out to the they went out they went out to the flood control, took some pictures out there, and holy moly, now we know why the river's down. How's your head? I think it's a little good. I really want to see it. You want to see what it looks oh, like? Yeah. I could take a picture and show you. Yeah, let me see. I'm okay. Yeah. That right there. Right there? Mm hmm I thought it was on top of my head. No, it's over to the side a little bit. Don't mess with it. Right here? Yeah, don't mess with it. So I went out earlier yeah. today surveying the situation at the uh, old trampoline. Hit me. It was a piece of metal that's about this big. It, it could have been way worse than what it was. We've been keeping it nice and clean. We've been putting triple antibiotic on it every night. Oh, Daddy is out in town. He's probably already filled you in, but he is in the process of possibly buying a new truck. Oh my word. Oh my word. This has come really fast. Like we knew that we were going to need to at some point, but it was just kind of like, oh, we'll just wait. We'll wait as long as we can. And now it's like, hmm kind of need a vehicle it's nerve-wracking it's nerve-wracking to buy a vehicle when you are just you can't get you know you have you need you want to trust somebody to make sure that it all looks good so thank you Lance we appreciate you so he's gonna do that and then I'm guessing probably he's gonna have to come here and then we're gonna have to go back out and go get the other truck it's been a crazy day he has been I know he's been working remotely on his phone just trying to like get stuff all working it works crazy oh my word i'm working on some fun things today um some actually really neat things that i'm pretty i'm pretty excited about it's it's a lot but i don't know i'm excited i'm excited i love let's just say i love to create i love to create things and this is pushing me to create some different things and i'm, I'm excited i'm excited so anyway we have done a little bit of school this morning we we're able to accomplish our math on our internet that we have, which is great because it's not really like a streaming thing. They've been going over to my mom's to be able to finish up their lessons. It is getting so beautiful outside. 
we do not want to be doing school anymore. We want it to be done. So I'm hoping in the next couple weeks we'll be able to finish everything up. Whoop, whoop. He has a bag of chips. Look. Gone. Hence why they're completely gone. I mean, how did I end up with such light eyebrows? Now, the blessing in them is I can go a really long time without plucking them or tweezing them or waxing them because you can't see them. They're like all baby hairs. Bye like, bye, mommy. Bye, buddy. Go get started. Not a drip drop one, Bert. Clean, huh? Clean, dude. Not even, not even thinking about leaking. Just like a auto start. Push and hold. Magic. Magic. That's convenient in Alaska. Oh. I saw your antenna here, and I'm like, huh. Sometimes if you don't always get the uh, the key fob with the vehicle, you when you buy a used vehicle and you see that antenna, you can just go get a controller and get it programmed. Nice. I've done it a lot. So. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. No problem. Okay, here's the latest. As nice of a vehicle as this is, Lance is very happy with it. Still, there's $3,000 worth of things to be fixed on it. It's crazy, just general maintenance stuff. Uh, you know, the full fluids, because uh, it's getting close to the 100,000 mile time frame. Shocks, brakes, so just little things. This truck, though, came from Arizona. So this has half of its mileage in Arizona, and then it went to Anchorage. Probably military owned would be my guess. So I feel this is a super good value. But let's go see if I can go use this for some negotiation um, at the dealership. So let's head that way. How's it going? It's going. What, what are you in? Where are you at? I, I'm still on the old truck. He had a he had a meeting that he had to go to, so. He asked me what uh, what I thought of it, and I said I liked it. I'm willing to write you a check right now, um, but I got a I got an invoice here with like a bunch of stuff to get fixed. So he's going to uh, he goes okay. Well, if you're gonna write a check, I can have you out here in 10 minutes. So just give me a little bit, and then we'll well. I said I just is a room to move on the price. He goes oh yeah yeah. There's some room. I feel like I I I, I feel I need to get at least a thousand dollars off. That's kind of where I'm at. Anyway, he'll be back here in about 20 minutes and. Um, I'm, I'm sure he'll work a deal. He seemed excited when I was going to write a check because it's like less paperwork for him, I guess. But I do need to get back to the office, so hopefully this goes well so we can we can end this and move on to the craziness. To the craziness, okay. All right, I'll let you know. Thanks so much. Bye, Reddy. We own a truck. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, I actually feel pretty relieved that it is done. And I think we got a decent deal. So this is affordable used cars. I've used them before. Uh, they have some pretty clean vehicles. Their, uh, their salespeople don't work on commission, or at least they didn't used to. So it's not like a pressure sales thing. And they really don't really come down on the price normally because they have just a pretty decent deal for clean vehicles. But it really helped when I brought that invoice over and I said, hey, there's quite a bit of things I need to get worked on on here. I know you guys don't normally work on the price, but what can you do for me? And we're able to come to a deal. So he knocked $1,000 off, so I got this for $16,995. And I think I'm pretty happy with it. And if it doesn't work for some reason, um, we could always sell it in a couple years and we won't lose very much money, as opposed to driving a new one off the lot where you lose $20,000 in the first year. Anyway, I'm very happy. I think this is great. So let's go Let's go home and see what the kids think. Maybe give them a quick drive. We're gonna drive back here and get my truck anyways. Daddy just told me he's on his way. He's coming down. Can you hear? <laughs> What do you think? Daddy. Daddy. What do you think of the new truck? I like it. I need to go on. I need to go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Want to go for a ride? Yeah. Happy in. Yeah. Take that. What do you think, Garrett? What do you think? Good, good, good. Guess what like the best it? part about this is? What? It's four wheel drive. That's right. <laughs> really big engine. You want to hear it? Yeah. It sounds like a race car. Should we go race somebody? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go away. Yeah. Go 
Where's somebody? <laughs> All right, we can't go any main roads with you right here because you're not in your booster. Go on the. We'll go to our driveway. That's what we'll do. Hold on. Hang on. Dirt road. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is there enough room back here, kids? Yeah. Is there? Yeah. There's some carrots on here. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. So we like it. Did Daddy do okay? Yeah. We, we ran into town. We had to go get the old truck and pick that up from the um, car dealer that we bought the new truck from. So we just got back from that. My babe is back in the office, super busy. I'm out in the garage working on all the things. Um, still making some progress. I wanted to show you just kind of like what I did for the kids' um, bins and like their special things. So basically I just created these bins to put like, this was Garrett's first bedding quilt. This was a special blanket that was made for him. Another blanket, some of his very first outfits, his first little Bible, one of the first little things he drew. And I'm just like consolidating and like really special things. I tend to try not to hold on to a lot, but like special things I wanna keep. Um, this is for Evelyn. It's like a little Barbie that I had when I was little, it's still in its box. Her other thing, when we had the little bunk beds, oh my goodness. Go back to like one of our very first vlogs and you'll see like a little bunk bed that my babe built. And it had, they all had these little dealios on their beds. And then Garrett's, it was reversible. So Garrett's was the stripe side. Fun, some fun things for her. Like one of the dresses that I made for her. I've made her and Sissy one like little matching little matching dresses, some of my favorites and blankets and quilts. And then I threw in her little mermaid thing from this year, quarantine birthday. And then Audrey, it's always true. The first one always has a lot. So kind of the same thing. I, I even found some of her little ultrasound pictures. Oh my gosh, I love the profile. That's my favorite. She literally wore this, literally wore this, what? So tiny, oh my goodness. So that's what I've been kind of doing is just consolidating. We have decor stuff over there, cold weather gear, my keepsake stuff, outdoor stuff, more outdoor stuff. And some headway, it's going, it's going good. So I'm super excited, punching it out. I'm so grateful that the truck worked out. Still can't believe it. And that we were able to find one that was kind of like, in our price range. Twinning now, we're like matching. We're like little matching, little matching family. This is all stuff that's going away. Uh, wow, aggressive. Yeah, so grateful that that, that, that all worked out. Um, we just He just told me about an hour ago or so that we got awarded two new jobs for the winter. We have been waiting for work for so long now and like all of a sudden it's just like bam, bam, bam. I don't know how to sometimes re react to that. I don't know sometimes how to share with that because I don't want to come off as like, ooh, look at us. I don't want that at all. But I also want to share with you that even when you're going through like sometimes kind of poopy times, like I'm gonna sit you in the ranger. Like where, um, you know, like our crawl space was flooded, you know? It was not a good time. We could have lost a lot of things, valuable things. And there could be some damage down there that we're going to have to deal with. And, but even in the midst of that, sometimes there's some really great things that can happen. And then we actually had, um, a company, like a person that we work with, um, told us about a possible like ministry opportunity, which was super cool of being able to like donate our time and, and, pieces and parts like dealing with the with our work and like we were able to get two jobs and then we had this opportunity of maybe we could donate some stuff I don't know it just is so cool how God sometimes just works I, and it has nothing to do with what we're doing but everything to how he's like orchestrating things you know I mean we haven't really been looking for a truck for a super long time I mean it's always kind of been in the back of our head and we're like oh man we have to do this 
and then it was like, oh, here you go. And, and you know, I think we've talked about it before, but we a lot of times like to buy vehicles or at least look for vehicles out of Arizona. This truck spent 40,000 of its miles in Arizona. I don't know, it's just so stinking cool. We're grateful. We're very, very grateful. I have a really hard time expressing good things that happen because I do not want to come off as like, oh, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't ever want that vibe. I mean, we do, we do work hard. I, I, we really, really do. But it's not because of our efforts that different things happen. We, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, we're still keeping this guy. Bert considers him family, so we're gonna keep that. <laughs> You guys seen where people take and like remodel these things and like make them look like retro? I would love it, but I don't have the time to do it. Um, I'm gonna continue in the garage trying to get some stuff done. Kids are out playing some cornhole. Yeah, I think we're gonna call this one tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Your support and everything across our channel has been crazy. Like. We're literally blown away by how many of you guys are tuning in to watch. That's, what? That's so weird. That is so weird to us, but we appreciate it. We really, really do. And we love having you guys apart. Just, it's just awesome. It really is awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.